I recently met a woman from China. She lives in the United States now, teaching Chinese at a high school in Indiana. Growing up in China, she never had any introduction to Christianity of any kind. Since moving to the States, however, she has met a wide variety of Christians. The first question she asked me when we met is, why are there so many different Christian churches? If you all follow Jesus and read the same Bible, why isn't there just one church? The simplicity of her question overwhelmed me. All I wanted to say was, you're right, and I'm sorry. The Second Vatican Council spoke out strongly against divisions among Christians, saying, such division openly contradicts the will of Christ, scandalizes the world, including the woman from China I met, and damages the sacred cause of preaching the gospel to every creature. But, the decree continues, the Lord of the ages wisely and patiently follows out the plan of grace on our behalf, sinners that we are. The plan of grace. There is a plan, a plan of hope and reconciliation, God's plan. There is only one body of Christ, one church. We are the ones struggling to figure out how to see that the way God does. Achieving Christian unity requires a tremendous amount of prayer. Please join Pope Francis this month in praying for Christian unity. We pray that by means of dialogue and fraternal charity and with the grace of the Holy Spirit, Christians may overcome divisions. Thank you for praying with us.